In this video, we're going to take a look at our Magic Q1980 beta features. We've just launched this software now and it's available for download. First of all, Media Master has joined the Canvases family, and although not part of a 1980 beta, Media Master is separate software and will continue to be that way, we've now added support for NDI to Magic U consoles and PC systems when they're unlocked. For Magic U consoles and PC systems, you can see on my 250 here, I'm viewing an NDI stream on my Execute window, so you can bring streams in to view them, but you can also then pump them into the pixel mapper like you would any other media source. Also, we've added support for our Genetics Tensing Contact. Tensing Contact was a box launched earlier this year, which provides simple uh, open-close trigger inputs. For Magic Q, you can support up to 50 of these boxes, bringing 10 each triggers into the system, and they daisy-chain using our Tensing protocol along with the Tensing button stations. These boxes are also compatible with QuickQ and Genetics nodes directly as well. We also made tons of enhancements to the Magic Q software. If we take a look at my software here, uh, and come to my execute window, we've made some enhancements in the execute window. First of all, you can now see I've got here multiple groups inside a region. Previously, only a single group uh, was allowed inside a region. So I've got my spots here, which I bring up, and I've got my profiles here. And I can go and select the spots and say over three seconds they turn blue. While that, that's going on, uh, the profiles over two seconds go amber, as you can see there. So you can have multiple uh, groups and transitions going on inside a region at any time now. Talking of regions, you can also have regions that are timing only, and of course timing was supported before and worked for the effects inside a region, but we can now have our region timing affect physical playbacks. If I bring down these two playbacks here uh, and run up playback 6 here, what you can see is just a simple uh, dimmer chase. You can see here at the moment it's running in chunks of 4, I could set it to chunks of 0, I can use tap tap to time, so it just works for now this section here. If there's no cues, stacks, or effects inside here, it'll work for whatever is my selected playback with the S button here. So I can now slow that down, drop it into, say, chunks of two, or chunks of four. Now, if you've not heard of chunks, this is something we had a little while ago in Magic Q. This has been expanded, as you can see here in the 8.0 beta release. So, yes, we can do things like sign special, uh, rate parameters, and we can put in uh, chunks of any number we like, chunks of two, four, zero, whatever, and mix it with parts, segments, etc. So these are all your timing options you could put in a region to control the playback. Now, if you've not heard of chunks before, there are another way of sub-selecting. It was added uh, in our previous uh, 197 release, so do check out the video on that here. But we've further added support for chunks with effect. So if I go and run this effect here, which is just a simple dimmer effect, you can see it's running in four chunks. Now, if I include the effect into the programmer so you can see how it's programmed, it's just a simple dimmer effect. Uh, and you can see over on segments here, it's been set to four chunks. So if I take segments back to zero, uh, as you normally would have there, or maybe in uh, two or three segments there, so it's slightly different to segments of, okay, in segments of three, it gets a similar result. If you click the soft button here and keep clicking it up, will allow me to change into chunks, as you can see here. Now, chunks allows me to split, okay, two chunks split the effect in half, three chunks go into threes, like so, four, like so here. Now, what's the benefit and reason for this? Uh, well, if I just clear this out my programmer here, you can see that this is based off group four. So that effect keeps running as four chunks. If I go to my layout window here and select group four, uh, this is a group-based effect using chunks, chunks of four, and if I go and select the heads, I could take out, say, one, two, three, four, so I've taken out the first two and the last two, they're still there at the moment, until I go to view groups and I re-record group four here. Again, this is uh, just updating the group and you can see instantly the playback, it's not the programmer, the playback that's running here has been updated. The heads it's using, I've lost the two end heads, so I've taken out four of my 12 heads, so there's only eight in here now and it still respects the chunks of four, it's recalculated what each of the heads should be doing. Again, if I was to select all 12 heads and I just put them back into group 4 and select yes, you can see my chunks of updated still in chunks of 4, but there's now three heads uh, inside each one of those. Now, what else have we added? Uh, well, in our 1980 release, some other enhancements to Magic Q is we've rewritten our GDTF importer uh, to the latest spec. So we now support the latest spec GDTF in Magic Q for importing files from GDTF share or manufacturers who might send you files. Uh, the final thing that we've added there, well, not the final thing, one of the other highlights uh, is we've updated our remote control protocol. If I had my 250 here and I was remoting it from, say, a laptop, so remoting a 
console from another system. I can use a laptop or a Surface as a remote control system. Previously, it was limited to really only the spreadsheet views. Now, in our 1980 release, the remote protocol has been rewritten, so all windows, like my color picker, uh, my plot window, etc., are now supported on the remote system. There's tons of other enhancements and features in 1980, so do take a look at the change notes and download it now from the Canisys website.